Good morning, everybody. Jeremy Moore checking in from Los Angeles, California. Sunny, beautiful day here. Um, that's humor. It's actually very gloomy. It's winter time, but it is 70. So not a lot to complain about. Hopefully you all are doing well. Um, we're here to talk about a vehicle today that, that I've been wanting to try because I am truly a fan of this car. I'm a fanboy and I try to be unbiased, but it's really hard. Uh, while I'm not a huge fan of convertibles, I really like the LC500 base hardtop. So we're gonna give the convertible a little spin, a little test for the day, and we're gonna tell you all about what's different than last year's model and how it compares to the hardtop this year. Now, you're probably wondering, you just did it, you just did a review. And I know I did, I know I did, but I, I had to get my paws on this because uh, I, I live in Los Angeles and, and, and having sunny weather all year round makes me ponder, would I ever really want a convertible? And the answer is yes. After trying this vehicle out, I would absolutely drive this vehicle as an everyday driver. Uh, it's got a lot of push to it. Uh, it's got that great LC500 pedigree in terms of design. And, and this uh, this interior is, is gorgeous. As you can see, I'm sitting in it right now and it's it's truly, it just, it just the, red in, the red exterior with this brown, beautiful interior, which we're gonna go into later on, uh, it's just a, a perfect match, perfect couple made in heaven. So we're gonna jump right in. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. We're gonna kind of water it down today. We're gonna kind of talk about just real big selling points. What makes it different? We're not gonna do a full review because the LC500 this year is similar in a lot of ways than it was last year in 2020. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's jump right in. So this is the LC500 interior. You can see it has kind of like a a caramel, caramelist kind of I don't know, toasted, I'm trying to make my own word up here, toasted caramel type of like color. Lexus really kept the interior same in a lot of ways. Um, it's very minimal. I mean, I, I know that the steering wheel seems a little busy, but at the end of the day, it's like a very minimal Japanese style that Lexus loves to keep and incorporate in all their vehicles pretty much across their entire lineup. Uh, I'm a big music person and we have the Mark Levinson sound system in here. Uh, it's in pretty much all the high-end Lexuses and the F-types and things like that. So uh, great job on the interior. You know, they really haven't changed a lot, which I prefer it that way. But I really wanted to highlight the colors and just talk about the seats here and kind of the interior. They, they kept it looking really premium and quite frankly, I love this vehicle and the interior hasn't changed and I'm glad it hasn't. So that is the interior, folks. Uh, I'm not going to dive too, in, too much into it because, again, we talked about this is a vehicle that hasn't changed a lot. So we're not going to go over it too much. So jumping right into the next topic. Just a quick tidbit, and I, I really wanted to cover this on my last review, but I didn't really have a chance to because we we're having some microphone issues. But... This is my biggest pet peeve with the LC500. If I'm picking at it a little bit, because you know what, guys? I am a little biased, but let me pick on it for a second. This back seat, look, don't get me wrong. If you have kids, and, and if I had a kid, I would not shove my kid back here. There's just no space, and quite frankly, I'd get claustrophobic. But in this car, I, I feel like it's good. You can throw a gym bag back there. You can throw, you know, some kind of bag or suitcase back there. But quite frankly, I don't think that the functionality pur purpose is, is really there. Uh, extend the trunk space because you'd be a lot better off there. Just make it a two-seater already. Um, I would love to see this car become a two-seater at some point and not have this sort of, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's just like a, a miniature back seat. But I wanted to call this out of my last review. And as you can see, there's just not a lot of space back here, right? It's just very cr cr crump, you know, crammed up. I actually tried to put some friends back there and, and, and it was it was kind of funny. It was almost comical. It was like a clown car. My friend's a big guy and he just didn't go back there. Uh, needless to say, we moved him up to the front seat, but this is not much of a back seat. And I think I hope that Lexus fixes this because I think Lexus is better than this. Uh, it still looks good. It's still nice. They have a nice little Mark Levinson subwoofer back here built in. Uh, beautiful branding, of course. I love Mark Levinson, but just a little a little pet peeve of mine on the, uh, the LC500 series. Now we're focusing in on this little puppy right here is because there's a lot of misconception with the LC500. A lot of vehicles you look up here and that's where your convertible settings are, but that is not the case with the LC500. They took this little hump right here that's in the center console right next to your slapstick, volume controls. It's all very central. It pops up. You have two controls here. This is basically for your convertible. There's a nice little animation there that shows the drop, the drop top. And then this is for your windows itself. Let's go ahead and focus on this. If you push down on the windows, it actually brings down both front and the quarter panel window. 
it locks in if you don't want to go all the way to the convertible. But this is basically your convertible setting. This brings it back up and this brings it down. Um, we're gonna go ahead and switch our camera and I'm gonna show you just how fast the LC500 drop top activates and fully locks down into convertible mode. So I actually have this view because I wanna show you how quickly and efficiently the LC500 convertible drops the top. So without further ado, what we've all been waiting for on a count of three, we're gonna drop it. And I'm gonna show you from start to end what it looks like. It gives you a nice little beep at the end whenever it drops down. So let's go ahead and get it started. Three, two, one, drop. And we're off to the races. We got our windows down already. The back part is setting up. The top is off. Guys, that's really quick. It's locking in. It's actually locked in our, our convertible right now. And boom, it's done. You're off to the races. To a lot of racing enthusiasts, dropping the top is not so important. It actually takes away kind of like the functionality of having a hard top. But for those folks that want to get a little extra vitamin D, uh, this is truly uh, a quick and easy way to um, increase your tan or increase your social status. Uh, convertibles are a really cool vehicle idea and, and the LC500 adding it was a no brainer. And I'm surprised it took this long. So um, that that's the drop top. Hopefully you enjoyed it. One of the things that Lexus really preserved in this vehicle is that almost like a muscle car type roar that you get with the LC500, this V8, 471 horsepower engine and, and the, the exhaust system just sounds amazing. I'm gonna give you guys a quick rev here, show you what she sounds like when you really get her purring. So here we go. Tell me that is not just, oh, fully aroused. That is amazing. This car still sounds like your fucking supercar when it's going down the street. Excuse my language, but I'm excited. It's hard for me to really contain myself. Let's give it one more try. Just, just, you know what? Why not? Yes, yes, yes. So the LC500 does come in at a price point starting at 122.5. Uh, not bad if you consider something similar in the class like a, like the Porsche Carrera uh, drop top. That's 127, I believe. So it's a five thousand dollar difference. Uh, in my opinion, you get all of the performance, speed, design, you know, luxury out of this vehicle that you would over the Porsche. Um, now there's a lot of Porsche fanboys out there that are probably really wanting to grill me right now, but uh, only speak unless you've had a chance to drive both cars. And I have had a chance to drive both cars, and this car is if not comparable, better than the Porsche. So price point, 122.5. I think that's roughly $17,000 to $19,000, somewhere in that range, depending on the features and the additions, uh, than the actual coupe with the non-drop top, the hard top LC500. So it does demand a little bit more of a premium price, but folks, it's worth it. This car is awesome, and to have the versatility of having the top on versus off, um, it just makes a nice day that much nicer. So. Uh, that's the price point, folks. I really wanted to check in on that. That's one of the things that has changed because the convertible is a new option for the LC500. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing your next Lexus. And hopefully this has swayed you towards a Lexus because these vehicles are amazing and you truly experience amazing. Well, wow, that was cheesy, but you know what I'm saying. So we have our car in Sports S Plus mode. We're going to go ahead and see how fast we can go from zero to 60. So once I get clearance here, we're going to go ahead and take off. And we're gonna count down here. So, three, two, one. Quite a bit of uh, slipping on the tires. But we're kicking, we're going. So that was zero to 60. Uh, I have to recount it whenever I stop my video here. But the LC500 is still fast as shit. And that was my revised kind of brief review of the LC500 convertible and what's different about it in my opinion, in my take. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you like me and you like my personality and you like my charming smile, oh, and all the cars, of course, too, uh, give me a subscribe, give me a like. Um, still trying to figure out how this YouTube stuff works. I am obviously bigger on the Instagram side, but I feel like I can be more of myself and show you more of myself in the cars on the YouTube side. So subscribe, like, comment. Even if you have constructive feedback, I am all ears. And I am a learner of what I do. So Hopefully you enjoyed for the third time. Everybody, I'm signing off. I'm gonna go drive around a little bit. Have a great day.